the root and toot and roundup. To get things started, we need to all say, howdy, partner, because that's how you say, hey, friends, in the roundup. Okay, on the count of three, let's hear your best howdy, partner. Ready? One, two, three. Howdy, partner. Wow, that was pretty good. Here in the Roundup, we always listen to an amazing Bible story. And we get to listen to some mighty fine music. But before we get to all that, we get to have fun together. If you're ready to have some fun, let me hear you say, yee-haw. Today, I thought it would be fun to dance together. But not just any dance. We're gonna do the Roundup Hoedown Dance. Have you ever heard of a hoedown? Well, it's like a big party where cowboys and cowgirls dance with all their friends. If you're ready to learn the Roundup Hoedown dance, stand up with me. Now, for the first part of the dance, we'll stand with our feet apart and bend our knees. Like this. Can you do that? Next, we'll kick our boots. Like this. Try it with me. Now we'll do some side steps like this. Give it a try. Oh, you're doing great. Last, we'll turn around and tip our hat. Like this. And that's how you do the roundup hoedown dance. Are you ready to put it all together with me? Here we go. First, we bend our knees. One, two, three, four. Then we kick our heels. One, two, three, four. Then we step this way. Now we step that way. Then we turn around and tip. Oh, you did it. Let's try it with music this time. Here we go. Round it up and round it down. Lasso all the way around. Give your hat a quiet tap and put it right down in your lap. Take it away, Trusty. Hey friends, my name is Sabrina and I'm so excited to tell you what I was reading in my favorite book. Do you know what book that is? Yeah, it's the Bible. And the Bible's important because it helps us know how much God loves us. Well, I was reading in my Bible and I read about a man named Joshua. Joshua had to do something really hard, but he knew that God loved him and that he could trust God. Joshua had to travel somewhere to do something super tough, but he learned that he could trust God. He knew that God loved him and would help him. I can't wait to tell you all about the amazing thing Joshua did. Okay, Joshua was the leader of God's army and God wanted Joshua to take care of a big problem. See, there was a city named Jericho and it was full of really bad guys. God was going to send Joshua and his men to get those bad guys out. But there was one big, ginormous, huge problem. 
Jericho was surrounded by a humongous wall. The wall was everywhere. Everywhere they looked, there was wall. They looked up. Can you look up with me? All they could see is wall. And they looked this way. Look this way. Nothing but wall. How about this way? Nope. Nothing but wall that way too. No army had ever gotten over the wall. And no army had ever gotten through the wall. So how were Joshua and his men going to get into the city? Well, here's where it started getting good. God told Joshua and his men that they had to march around the wall. For six days, they had to march around the wall. And then on the seventh day, they had to march seven times. That's a lot of marching. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's pretend to be God's army. Okay, everybody, stand up, stand up. Now, we need to pretend to put on our favorite marching boots. Just put them on your feet, just like this. Looking good, I like your boots. Now, we're gonna get ready to march, okay? March with me, like this. Yeah, great job. Next, we'll blow our horns. Can you pretend to blow your horn like this? Da -da -da -da! Great job. I'll count to seven and then we'll blow our horns together. Are you ready? Okay, let's get marching, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and stop. Now we've got to blow our horns. On the count of three, ready? One, two, three, blow your horn! Da -da -da -da! Great job! And then, all of a sudden, the ground started to shake and the wall was crumbling. And then that ginormous wall around Jericho fell to the ground. Wow! Joshua trusted God and did exactly what God told him to do. And the walls fell down. Joshua knew that God loved him and would help him, even though Joshua didn't know why he had to march, march, march around that wall. He trusted God and the whole wall came crumbling down. Wow, Joshua was able to do something so big because he trusted God. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We can trust God just like Joshua. When you have to do something hard or you have to learn something new, you can trust that God will help you. Or if you have to go somewhere you've never been before, and you don't know anyone there, you might be a little bit scared, but you can trust that God loves you and he'll help you be brave and make new friends. You can trust God and I can trust God. Let's pray and thank God that we can trust him. If you're ready to pray, give me a big clap. Dear God, thank you for loving us and help us remember that we can trust you. We love you, God, amen. try to remember that I can trust God, and you can too. But the fun's not over yet. It's time to get on up for some singing and dancing. Have a hoot and hollering good time, and I'll see y'all later. Bye, friends. One, two, three. Come hit the trail with me. Let's get on down and round it up, cause we can trust in God. No matter what. Here we go now, three, two, one. It's time to have some fun. So sing along now, everyone.
I'm sad Trust when it's good And when it's bad I can trust over here Trust over there I can trust in God everywhere Everywhere I can trust when I'm happy And trust when I'm sad Trust when it's good And when it's bad 